हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर फ्रेंड शादाब इमाम एंड करेंटली वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक ऑफ गेम थ्योरी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू टू पर्सन जीरो सम गेम विथ सैडल पॉइंट सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड डोंट फोर्गेट टू हिट द बेल आइक सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम हेयर द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द पे ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ अ गेम इज गिवन बिलो find the solution of the game to a and b so here are two players player a and player b player a has four strategies player b has five strategies so first of all it has not given that the pay off matrix is of player a or player b in this particular condition we will always select or we can say we will always consider this as a pay off matrix for player a so by default when there is not given when it has not given in the problem that the pay off matrix of player a or b then by default we will consider the player which is having the horizontal strategies so we will consider this as pay off matrix of player a now first of all we need to remember that in any game theory problem the first step we need to do is to find that if there is a saddle point or not so let us see here and in order to find the saddle point we will first calculate the row minimum value so this is row min and in row minimum we will select the minimum value in each row so for first row minimum value is minus 4 so this is minus 4 in second strategy or second row minimum value is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 in third row minimum value is minus 6 so this will be minus 6 and the fourth row minimum value is minus 8 now among these value we will select the maximum possible value so among these we can say that maximum possible value is minus 1 so this minus 1 will became maxi min value maxi min value similarly we will calculate another term which is called column max column max in this we will select the maximum value in each column so in column 1 we can say that maximum value is 3 so this will be 3 in the second column maximum value is 1 so this will be 1 in the third column maximum value is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 and in the fourth column maximum value is 3 so this will be 3 in the fifth column the maximum value is 4 now among these value we will select the minimum value among these so we can see that minimum value is minus 1 so this minus 1 will be minimax value minimax value now we have learned in the previous lectures that in order to have a saddle point the value of minimax has to be equal to the value of maximin that means for a saddle point for a saddle point point minimax value minimax value has to be equal to maximin value so we can see that maximin value is coming as minus 1 and minimax value is also coming as minus 1 that means in this particular game we have a saddle point and the location of saddle point is the intersection of these two row on row and column so we can see that this element is where the saddle point exist and now what saddle point shows or says that player a will play strategy 2 100% of time and it will not play strategy 1 3 or 4 similarly this saddle point shows that player b will play strategy 3 100% of time 
and it will not play strategy one two four and five so the optimal strategies for player a and b optimal strategy for player a a can be written as 0 1 0 0 this means that player a will play strategy 1 0 percent of time strategy 2 100 percent of time strategy 3 0 percent of time and strategy 4 0 percent of time similarly we can have the optimal strategy optimal strategy for player b optimal strategy for player b now this can also be written as 0 and this shows that player b will play strategy 1 0 percent of time strategy 2 0 percent of time strategy 3 100 percent of time strategy 4 0 percent of time strategy 5 0 percent of time so this is where our saddle points exist and the element at the saddle point is known as the value of game so the value of game here will be minus one i'm not writing it here because it has been not asked in the problem so now let us move on to the next question and the question says that find the ranges of the values of p and q which will render the entry 2 to a saddle point for the game now it says that in this particular payoff matrix we need to find the range of values of p and q so as to have a saddle point at 2 2 so this is 2 2 okay second row and second column so we need to find out the range of values for p and q so that this will be our saddle point now in order to find this we will first see where the saddle point lies or if there is a saddle point or not without considering or we can say ignoring the values of p and q so here also we will calculate rho min rho min and the minimum value in first row is 2 second row is 7 and the third row is 4 similarly we can calculate the column max value and the maximum value in column 1 is 10 in column 2 is 7 and in column 3 is 6 now we can see here that for row min we will select the maximum value among these two so the maximum value is 7 so this will be maxi min value this is maxi min value similarly we will select the minimum value among these so we can see here that minimum value is coming as 6 but we know that minimum value has to be 7 because we know that maximum value is equals to minimax value and this saddle point exists at 2 2 now from here let us select this first this is the minimax value which is already defined in the problem that this will be the minimax value this will be the maximum value because this is our saddle point now in order to make this 6 greater than 6 or we can say in order to increase this value more than 7 so that this 7 will be a minimax value we can see here the value of q in this row 2 we need to see here that the value of q has to be greater than 7 because we have selected the minimum value in this row so if q is less than 7 then this 7 will be replaced by q which we do not want so the q 
or we can say the value of q has to be greater than equal to 7 so here we can see that the value of q the value of q has to be greater than equal to 7 now by this we can see that if q is greater than 7 then automatically this q will be the largest number in this column and it will replace this 6 and since it is equal to 7 or greater than 7 we can see that we will have the minimax value as 7 at this point so the value of q has to be greater than equal to 7 now let us see this second column column 2 we can see here that the value of p has to be less than equal to 7 because in column we will select the column max value so if the value of p is greater than 7 then this 7 will be replaced by p so what we need to do here or what the value of p should be it should be less than equal to 7 so that even the value of p is present then also 7 will be the maximum value and this column max will be 7 so we can here from here we can analyze that the value of the value of p has to be less than equal to 7 so by this we can understand that for this particular game to have a saddle point at 2 2 the value of q has to be greater than equal to 7 and the value of p has to be less than equal to 7 so i hope this is clear to you and along with this uh, i hope the concept of saddle point is being clear to you we will do some more problems on saddle point and if you like this lecture please share the lecture have a nice day thank you